Okay, um, this is the holy grail of everything that uh, I've been trying to do in Fusion, and that is to flatten um, or unfold these fuselage and wing parts, all these curved parts. So I'm going to pick this model here because it has a really tricky looking uh, front uh, piece here. And my machine's a little slow. Um, it's Windows. What, what can I say? Okay, so this piece here is probably the trickiest piece because it kind of wraps all the way around and goes back to here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, a new drawing. And I'm actually going to create a component from this. Or actually, let me go ahead and do this uh, surface thing. I'm going to take surface and I'm going to create an offset. And I'm going to turn off everything that I don't need here. So we don't need this, 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 or this. And let's turn off all these bodies that we're not going to need just to get it out of the way. And we don't need that, 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 that. So this piece is actually the top rear. Nope. That's that piece. End screen, bottom rear, bottom front is what we want. Just this piece right here. So I'm going to go up to surface. And I'm going to create an offset of this part. And I want to create it on the top. So we're not going to move it off. We're going to leave it right there flush with the surface of the piece. And that way it's going to be an exact replica. And one of the reasons why we have to do this is because when this part's created, all of these sides are not exactly perpendicular to the top and it has to be perpendicular so we're going to create basically a new part so we created this new body and it's right up here so what I kind of want to do I'm going to create a component from this body um, where the heck did that go there we go create a component from body so we're going to create this component. It's called component one. And I'm just going to call this uh, unfold test. And what I want to do is I want to just copy this. And I'm going to put it in the new file. Because what I think I'm going to do is I'll create a nesting file in here. So I'm going to go here to paste new. So now it puts that body in here. Okay. And that's, that's fine where it is. All right, so now we want to go back to surface, and we're going to go to thicken. So we hit thicken, and we're going to thicken this to kind of really doesn't matter. Um, this is a sixteenth of an inch. I'll see if I have a definition in sheet metal to do that. If not, we'll have to come back and fix it. So we're going to hit OK. Now, this part in particular is a little tricky because it doesn't have any flat surfaces. If you look at it, every bit of it is curved it's a constant spline so fusion doesn't like that so i'm going to create a flat surface um, go back to solid and i'm just going to extrude right down here off of this face just a little bit you don't have to have much the nice thing it, it gives you this little break line so when you take it into say um uh late light burn you can cut that part off or you can cut it off later. All right, so now we have this flat spot. So let's go to sheet metal and we'll click on my item and we'll turn off the surface spot. It's already converted. All right, so we're going to click here on this flat spot. Let me click on the bottom part of it here. And we're going to create convert to sheet metal. And it's just going to grab something in the library and that's fine. So now, this is now a sheet metal part. You can look over here. It shows a, a flange. Now I'm going to come up here to modify and unfold. And I have to pick a flat surface, which is the surface we created. I click on that, and I'm, I select unfold all bends. And so now, that has been flattened. And that's the thing that I've been searching for forever.
Anyway, I hope this is informative. Um, but thanks.